Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, our Germany tutorial. Uh, last episode, uh, we conquered Denmark, and we began moving uh, our units uh, into position along the uh, Soviet border with the Soviet Union. Uh, we also set up a small defensive force in northern France to uh, defend this front, just in case... Uh, England decides to do something. So what we need to do here is we're going to continue to, uh, to set up our preparations for our war with the Soviet Union and then um, see what happens. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this started and let get time rolling. Uh, one of the concerns that I had uh, coming out of last episode was uh, what I was going to do about Romania, because they haven't joined the Axis yet. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's happening with them. Um, I am influencing them, so they are drifting toward the Axis pretty well. But I'm not exactly sure if they're going to join before we go to war or not. Um, so I had a couple of options to think about. I could either um, wait until they joined, um, or... I could just go ahead and, and annex them uh, to basically make them a part of my empire. Or I could just leave them alone. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them alone. Uh, if they eventually end up uh, joining us, that's fine. Um, but having them as a neutral state is not that big a deal. Um, and how we're going to eventually handle the initial invasion of Russia is what I was thinking of doing, uh, some more technology there, is basically massing an armored force here. Um, a large armored force with uh, reserve backups to flood in behind the assault, and then basically punch through here in this gap between these two rivers, and then roll down along here, along this river, until we hit Odessa um, and basically establish my own front. So that my front would then go from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea and I would have full control over it. And that should work regardless of whatever happens with Romania. Because I'm not thinking they're going to be able to push very successfully across that border should they join the war anyway. There's some more tech there. Okay. So, we need to uh, start getting units in position to get ready to do that. So, I'm going to go find some of our armor. Alright, so, there's some of our armor. Let's go ahead and select these guys, and let's bring them over here. And we are going to need a stack of motorized infantry there as well. We'll bring those over here. Just gonna get them in the region and ready to go. This stack of armor, I am going to put in the north up here. All right. We have a small stack of infantry. They're in the process of being upgraded. We have some light armor and some motorized. Let's move them. Let's just take a look at our terrain mode. Um, there's a lot of forest up here. The the armor is going to have some trouble up there. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to keep my armor in the south. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this armor up here. They're going to be in the forest, but it's okay. What I'm going to do is I have heavy armor under uh, production right now, and they're going to come down here as well um, to basically punch across up under here. Alright, so that's kind of what my preliminary thinking is here. Alright, the other things we need to worry about is oh, these guys. Hold on. Some more motorized infantry. 
Uh, let's bring them... Let's bring them up here. Alright. We got some more light armor. Some pans with uh, two Fs. Okay. Um... Bring them in the theater as well. Let's bring them down here. We'll leave those there for, for the time being. I actually might take this little group and put them in with the defenders over here. Because I'm not sure how useful these guys are going to be. Because they're, they're not uh, fully built out. And, and and just kind of just spare units I have sitting in that little group right there. Okay, so. The other thing that I need to take a look at here is our production. Okay, which... I'm going to try and put these back on prioritizing upgrades, and I want to see what happens. Because last time the prioritize upgrades was causing our supplies to get set down to almost nothing, which I really can't have because we don't want to run out of supplies. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to prioritize stuff that's going to get done. So I'm going to move these bombers to the top because we want to get those done uh, sooner rather than later. And we're going to push these... Oh, actually, all those garrisons just finished. Turpits... Bismarck, you definitely want those. Scharnhorst, nice now. Those all need to get done. And these guys. I want those guys to stop. Alright, just kind of rearranging things a little bit there. Alright, so... Now we got these garrison units. Let me just take care of these real quick. Um, we're going to go to Revolt Risk. Um, and we are going to plop these guys down. Plop these guys down here. Oh. Uh, let's see. So we don't have a lot of revolt risk going on down here. Yeah. Put them here in France. Just kind of spread them around a bit. There we go. Okay, so. Yep, there it did. It slipped it down to nothing again. That's, that's not going to work. Okay. We're going to have to manual control it. There's something bugged there or something. I don't know what's going on. Now, what we need to do is... We're going to need more forces. We're just... The more men we can put on the Russian front, the better. So... I want to put together a very cheap set of divisions... This is going to be basically filler. Um, just numbers of men to fill in the hole because as we push deeper and deeper into Russia, the front is going to stretch out uh, thinner and thinner and thinner until, you know, we might have just single divisions holding entire lines, which I'd rather I'd avoid, I'd like to avoid if I, at all possible, so... So what we're going to do is, we're going to throw some infantry in here. I'm throwing some anti-tank guns. Uh, we want to keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. But we want to get some combined arms out of it. Um, armored cars. Yeah, see, now we're starting to get too expensive down here. Double up on the infantry, and let's put uh, let's see militia. No, I mean that's the cheapest thing we can get, but I'd rather not. Um, artillery or support. I guess we'll go engineers. 
to provide support. And what we're going to do is we're going to do five, and we're going to do five, and do 25 divisions. Start production. Right, see, this is the one problem about manual control is as the needs drift, you have to keep coming back in here and making sure that those are set up properly. All right, so we want to push those to the top because we want to get those working. And yeah, they're relatively cheap. And as these bombers finish, I'll free that up. Um, also, what I want to do is I want to put in some motorized. I want to supplement them with light armor. Light armor. Armored cars. And. And that means it won't be cheap. Some general. Some, some general units here. So let's make a few of those. We'll put those in the production queue. And there's 17 a piece. Oh, that's fine. All right, we'll let the we'll let those run. All right. Oh, what we got here? We got some bombers. Okay. Which we're going to mix in with our our bomber group there. And up oh, the first of our heavy tank uh, divisions is ready. So let's start putting these down somewhere. Let's put them down here. Why not? All right. And these are, yeah, Panzer 6H Tigers. All right, so. Oh, we got some more bombers. We'll throw those bombers in there. Uh, we got anything else we need to move into position. Uh, these mountain troops. Hmm. Is there anything that we're going to need mountain troops for over here? Probably not. Alright, well... Then what we'll probably do then is... Just kind of take some of these straggler uh, cores... Uh, move them over here. Put them in France. Just in case things happen. It can't hurt. Uh, that's a nice stack of armies right there. Okay, so these are all our command command units. All right. So now we got a lot of our guys in theater here. Make sure these guys are distributed out. And we need to basically fill them out along the line here. Motorized. I think what I'm actually going to want to do... They got a really nice stack. I don't think I need to worry about them too much. So I'm going to take this core, I'm going to move it there, and then I'm going to move these infantry along this front here. Same thing with here. Move these infantry along the front to 
just start to strengthen the defenses here. Kind of spread them out generally along this line here. Nothing fancy. Just kind of eyeballing it. All right. So yeah, we're running the supply problems over here. Uh, let me look at the infrastructure. Infrastructure is actually pretty good, um, but the supplies. Is we just moved so many units into the region so quickly that the supply is just going to take some time to catch up. Alright. Some transports. And we're getting to the point where we might have to split this fleet, but I'm not worried too much about the fleet at the moment. New tank barrel in sights, anti aircraft barrel and ammunition. Uh, let me just do a just quick eyeball check on oh, that. I need to put that there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got a bunch of 1940 stuff. Make sure we get all this queued up. Large formations, human wave. Now all this stuff, you know, improves all of our units and we want all of it. All of this stuff. We just want to make sure that it's put up in the queue so that it'll get it worked on when we get around to it. Okay, so. Take ammunition, artillery carriage, artillery barrel and ammunition. Okay. Okay, so everybody's moving into position here. These guys are going to get done in December, October, February in two years. These guys are going to be done in June. These guys are going to finish up in June. Alright. Yeah, we're moving along. We're moving along good. Oh, all of a sudden we have upgrades. Okay. That's fine. Because we got a bunch of technologies now that all of our artillery and tanks and everything have to get upgraded. Um, get ready for that. So, now what I want to do. So, we want to bring our armor into position. these guys. Start moving these guys into position here. Oh, we have a big old stack of motorized infantry. Spread these out on the front as well. Just kind of spread them out so that they're, we got a nice solid mass here because this is going to push up, up north, and we need a lot of units there because, again, it's going to spread out and we're going to start stretching the line. So we're going to make sure that we have sufficient units to fill in all the gaps. 
And these guys, let's get them into position. So, light armor, light armor, light armor. We have motorized infantry, we have motorized infantry. Alright, armor. Car armor, armor car gun, okay. So this armor is going to fill in these two, these two right here. In there, in there, in there. Supplemented with motorized infantry. moving into place. That's good. Now, we need to begin assigning out the command structure. Alright, so we got tons and tons of cores all over the place. We start moving some armies into position. Someone attached here? Yeah, disconnect them. Okay. Alright. Actually, hold on. We need... We can just go ahead and we can assign them to armies. Right, so let's actually make it the first army. First army. First army. First army, first army, and first army. Okay, so grab the first army. We're gonna bring him over here. Alright, so now we need the next army. The second army. Second army. Three, and then four, and then five. Okay. Grab the second army, and we're gonna move it down here. Can keep it in central location? Alright, so then we got the next army here. Called the third army. Two, three, three. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't the third army? Yeah, oh. I forgot about that. Actually, we don't want these guys attached to the third army. The third army is the army that is defending France. Okay, so... This guy has to go to the fourth army. Okay, so the fourth army, fourth army, fourth army... Fourth army. Fourth army. Okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to grab the fourth army. And move them down here. And fifth army. Fifth army there. Okay, so... We only have one core attached to the 5th Army. Well, that's no big deal, because we're going to have more cores being produced. Alright. Oh, we got some more stuff done. Oh, two transports, which they go over... Actually, we just dump them directly into the transport fleet. Poor little submarine over here. Oh, more transports. Okay. Actually. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what we want to do. Okay, there we 
we go. That probably means... Oh, we got one more transport, and there he goes. Okay, so, transports. So now we can use these for amphibious landings. Alright, and we got tanks under production. Good. These guys are going to be done in September, at least the first set. Alright. Gotta stay on top of that uh, IC. Uh, light tank stuff. Uh, I'm not prioritizing those. Uh, what's this? The Vienna Dictate. Transylvania was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire until after World War I, when the Treaty of Trianon reduced Hungary to one-third of its former size and lowered the population by three-fifths. Transylvania became part of the newly formed Romania. Admiral Horthy of Hungary demanded that the borders be redrawn, and in 1940 he got his way in the Vienna Dictate, which gave northern Transylvania back to Hungary. Alright, force remaining acceptance. Okay. So, there. Now, Hungary got a large chunk of Romania. Alright. Oh, and we got another heavy armor division. Boom. There you go. Uh, that kind of complicates things, but hopefully it's not going to be too big a deal. It, yeah, it gave this whole chunk here to Russia. Huh. That could actually work in our favor a little bit. Because if we push down here, that's going to create a pocket. We might be able to trap a bunch of units. Uh, we'll have to we'll think about that and see what happens. Uh, but that could prove interesting, because if we could knock out a large chunk of that southern force, if we can get them trapped in between this river and these borders, that could be that could be very useful. All right, so keep these things rolling. All kinds of upgrades going on. Oh, one thing I wanted to take a look at, just because, uh, again, I like to do it, because we've had some upgrades go through. Um, we are still using Panzer IV Fs for medium tanks. We're using the, the Tigers, Panzer II Fs. Uh, we got these cool-looking armored cars here. Self-propelled artillery are Stug 3Bs. That's interesting. We got Hetzers. Very cool. I love Hetzers. I think they're cute. Um, and we got 88mm uh, Flak 36s, 50mm Pack 38s, 105mm artillery pieces. Alright. So, yeah. Cool. Alright. One thing also I'm thinking I'm planning on doing is that once these marines are done this marine corps here I'm gonna use to take out the Scandinavian countries. And specifically Norway. Because Norway is going to be really, really easy to knock out because it only has a single victory point. Once you take Oslo, the entire country falls. So, that's what we're going to do. Alright. Let me just take a look 
because uh, I haven't really been paying attention to the air stuff. Uh, it's been clean. The air map is clean. So it looks like we've pretty much exhausted England's desire to try to strategically bomb us. Either that or something else is going on. And... Starting getting our heavy tanks out. And we've got our front all reinforced here. Which, now that I've gotten all this organized, I'm just going to stack these guys closer to the line. Um, let's see, move that guy there. So, just so that they stay closer to the, their... Their divisions. Alright, now I got all these armies. We got five armies. Um, we're gonna put them attached to the army group. Okay, so we need to put them on the group. Put you on the group. You on the group. And you on the group. Okay, so there should be four armies. Yes. Okay, then we're going to attach them to the theater. Alright. Where's that guy over there? Oh, and we got some more heavy armor. And we got more bombers. Okay. Alright. Made some good progress here. And I think we've probably hit a good time here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, end the episode here. And not a lot happened, but you know we're kind of in the lull between, between conflicts. Uh, getting ready uh, to take down Russia. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.